Did you catch Simone Biles' latest beam routine? She just made history again, pulling off moves that most of us can't even dream of attempting. Her new routine is packed with innovative elements and crazy acrobatics that have left the gymnastics world buzzing. Can you believe the level of skill and creativity she's bringing to the sport? Devalued tremendously. It's only out of the 9.5. And that's what she would get if she did it perfectly. Perfectly, and she was not perfect the other night. Big hop on the... Beam routines have changed a lot since the 1980s. Back in the day, gymnasts loved to start their routines with a bang, especially by mounting the beam with a series of acrobatic moves. Imagine starting your routine with a daring flip onto a narrow piece of wood. Talk about grabbing everyone's attention right from the get-go. These flashy mounts were all the rage in the 80s and 90s. Gymnasts like Kim Zemeskal and Shannon Miller made them look effortless. But the truth is, they were incredibly risky. Just being an inch off could mean a nasty fall and a full point deduction. Starting your routine with such a big mistake could be devastating making it hard to recover mentally and stay focused for the rest of the performance. To do that. Well, it's strong for Kim, but the first vault we're going to see her do is the same vault she did back in 92, and to put it in perspective... As we moved into the 2000s, handstand mounts, which were another popular choice, started to fade away. These mounts were a beautiful display of balance, strength, and control, with gymnasts holding perfect handstands before starting their routine. Some even had their signature poses. But as cool as these mounts were, they took up too much time and energy. Her balance beam routine, that routine finished off with two flips and two twists in the dismount. Fast forward to today, and beam routines have shifted focus. The name of the game now is high difficulty skills and connecting as many elements as possible to rack up points. Gymnasts are always looking for ways to make their routines more complex and score higher. This shift means that some skills and techniques have become less common or even disappeared entirely. Take the hip circle on the beam, for example. These were never the most popular, but European gymnasts used them more frequently up until the mid-2000s. They were a great way to showcase close to the beam moves and fulfill certain requirements. However, with the introduction of the new scoring format in 2006, these skills vanished. The focus turned to tumbling and acrobatic moves, which are more visually impressive and score higher. Another thing you don't see much of anymore are quad series, those impressive sequences of four acrobatic skills in a row without changing direction. These were big in the 80s and 90s, but the 1997 code introduced a rule that acrobatic elements on the beam could only be repeated twice in one connection. This rule pretty much put an end to the quad series, as gymnasts couldn't get the points they needed to justify the risk and effort. Skills ending in an arabesque position also fell out of favor around 2007 to 2008. These moves were variations of common acrobatic elements, where the gymnast would land in a beautiful arabesque pose. However, a new rule in 2009 changed how these were judged, and they no longer counted as individual skills. Since they didn't meet the new requirements, they were dropped from routines. Even the way gymnasts dismount the beam has evolved. Dismounting to the side of the beam used to be common, but as the sport's difficulty level increased, gymnasts needed to use the full length of the beam to generate the speed and height needed for more challenging dismounts. The side dismounts just didn't cut it anymore, especially with the requirement for more difficult dismounts introduced in 2006. First place, obviously, after that first rotation on balance beam now, Simone Biles. Biles starts her beam routine with an innovative mount that sets the tone for what's to come. Instead of playing it safe, she performs a series of acrobatic moves right from the start. This daring approach grabs everyone's attention and demonstrates her incredible skill and confidence. As she moves along the beam, Biles incorporates high-difficulty acrobatic elements that are simply breathtaking. One standout moment is her aerial walkover, connected seamlessly into a series of back handsprings. It's a fluid, powerful sequence that showcases her balance and precision. Another highlight is her tumbling pass, which includes a layout step-out with a full twist. 
a move that requires immense strength and control. Biles also brings innovation to her dismount. Instead of the traditional endings we're used to seeing, she finishes with a double-twisting double backflip. It's a high-flying, jaw-dropping conclusion that leaves the audience in awe and earns her those critical high scores. Watching Simone Biles perform this routine at the U.S. Olympic Gymnastics Trials was nothing short of exhilarating. The crowd at the Target Center was on the edge of their seats, and you could feel the excitement building with each element she executed. Her routine started with an uncharacteristic wobble, which, for any other gymnast, might have thrown them off completely. But Biles showed why she's the greatest. She quickly regained her composure and powered through the rest of her routine with flawless execution. By the time she hit her final tumbling pass, the crowd was roaring in approval. One of the key moments was her beam dismount. As she prepared for the double-twisting double backflip, you could see the focus and determination in her eyes. She nailed it with such precision that the entire arena erupted in applause. It was clear that even a minor hiccup at the start couldn't shake her. Biles' performance at the trials wasn't just about the technical skills, though. It was about her resilience and ability to perform under pressure. Despite a couple of her potential Team USA teammates suffering injuries earlier in the night, Biles remained composed and delivered an outstanding performance. This is what sets her apart her mental toughness and ability to shine even when the stakes are incredibly high. During the U.S. Olympic Gymnastics Trials, Biles scored 13.650 on the beam, which was lower than her usual scores, partly due to that initial wobble. But she more than made up for it with her performances on the floor and vault, finishing 2.5 points ahead of the competition by the end of the night. Her floor routine, set to an instrumental version of Taylor Swift's Ain't Ready For It, and Travis Scott's Del Resto, Echoes, featuring Beyonce, was another highlight. She managed to turn in a nearly perfect performance despite the earlier setback on the beam, drawing a standing ovation from the crowd. Simone Biles' new beam routine is not just a personal triumph. It's a game-changer for gymnastics as a whole. Her incredible performance sets a new standard for competitors, showing what's possible when you combine talent, hard work, and a fearless approach to innovation. Watching Biles perform, other gymnasts are undoubtedly inspired to push their limits. Her routine encourages them to think outside the box and incorporate more complex and daring elements into their performances. It's not just about matching her skill level, it's about embracing the spirit of innovation that she embodies. When you see someone like Biles executing such high difficulty moves with grace and precision, it makes you realize that the bar has been raised and the only way to compete is to step up your game. Biles' routine also has significant implications for how beam routines are judged and scored. In gymnastics, the emphasis has increasingly been on high difficulty skills and the seamless connection of elements. Biles' performances exemplify this trend perfectly. Her routines are packed with difficult moves linked together in ways that maximize her start value and overall score. Judges are now looking for routines that not only demonstrate individual skills, but also show a cohesive flow of connected elements. This shift means that gymnasts need to focus on the entire structure of their routines, ensuring that each move builds on the last and contributes to a higher overall difficulty score. Biles' ability to perform complex combinations sets a precedent for what judges will expect in the future. Looking ahead, Biles' influence on beam routines is likely to be profound. We can expect to see more gymnasts incorporating high-difficulty elements and innovative combinations into their routines. The days of playing it safe with simple mounts and dismounts are over. To stay competitive, Gymnasts will need to take more risks and push their boundaries, much like Biles does. Her routines might also inspire changes in how routines are choreographed. Coaches and choreographers will be on the lookout for new ways to integrate difficult skills smoothly, creating routines that are not only technically impressive, but also artistically captivating. The focus will be on creating a perfect balance between difficulty and execution, ensuring that routines are both high scoring and beautiful to watch. So what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.